Hi. Um, I'm going to be talking today about how to use your school document camera during live sessions. Um, and so this is going to be broken down into kind of two parts. And in the first part, we're going to talk about getting your hardware set up so that you're able to see your doc camera on your computer screen. And then in the second part, we'll talk about how to turn this on during a Zoom meeting and how to make that function the way you want. So in part one, here we go with the hardware. Um, I first want to show you which document camera I'm using. So I have one that's called the Aver, and the model number is AverVision F17-8M. And I'm not familiar with um, what range of dot cameras we have or if a lot of them are this model, but you want to find one that um, has this particular plug-in spot in the back that says mini USB. And we're going to talk more about that in just a little bit. But you'll notice that the two things that I have plugged in right now are the power and then this is um, attached, you know, uh, to an outlet. And then I also have this mini USB plugged in right here. So that's what you're going to need to get this up and running. Um, Make sure that you turn your power button on and it starts to glow green. You can turn your lamp on and off. Um, and then on the side, I have this on the setting, there's a switch that says TV or RGB. And I have this to the RGB setting. So this is working. Um, on the other side of it, well, let me go ahead and talk about this particular cable that you're going to need to be able to see your dot camera on the screen. Now, you'll notice that there is an HDMI input on here, and I was playing around with an HDMI input, and it wasn't working. So what I was reading in the directions is that works if you want to display this like on a television, on a monitor, but if you want this to show on a laptop or on a computer, you need to use this mini USB option. And just to kind of remind you, an HDMI cable is going to look like this. So if you're using this, it is not going to work. Um, similarly, I thought, oh, mini USB. I have those around my house. I must have tons of those around my house. But what I've learned is what I actually have around my house in abundance is something called a micro USB. I'm going to show this to you really fast. So notice that this has kind of a flat profile. And it has these two little metal bumps on the top. This is not the cable that's going to allow you to see your dot cam. So if you have these, they might be useful for something else, but they're not going to help you now. So I was able to track down this cord, which is called a mini USB cable. And notice that it has the smaller input on one side and then the USB on the other. So let me show that to you up close. So you're, you see that this has um, kind of a larger top and lower bottom, it's kind of two sized and there's none of these metal pieces kind of sticking off the top. So this is the type of cable you want and this plugs into the back of the dock camera. And then what I'm attaching to my MacBook is the USB side of this. Um, you can attach this to other types of um, computers, PCs, I think it'll still work fine. And I did attach it to my Chromebook and I was able to get it to work but the thing that I wasn't loving is it was giving me pretty low resolution for the dot camera, so it looked really pixelated. Um, so if you can run this through a MacBook, that's going to work a lot better. And if you're running a Zoom session, uh, you really don't want to run that through a Chromebook. It's fine to be a participant in a Zoom meeting on a Chromebook, but if you're the host, there's a lot of issues and uh, that'll come up and things you won't be able to do. Okay, so that's about the hardware. So again, I have an AverVision F17-8M. I'm using this mini B um, cable to attach it to my computer. And there shouldn't be any need for software installation. You should just be able to see the dock camera um, once you start opening up some of your viewing windows on your computer. Okay, thank you. Hope this helps.